So how you breathe during physical exercise is going to be influenced by how you breathe during wakefulness and of course during sleep. And if you're breathing harder and faster and upper chest breathing during rest, that is going to translate into harder and faster breathing and upper chest breathing during physical exercise. So if your everyday breathing is off, it's not automatically going to suddenly correct itself when you do physical exercise. And physical exercise doesn't improve your breathing patterns. And that's why we stress that it's very important that even if you're a top level athlete, check in on your breathing and ask yourself, do you get overly breathlessness during physical exercise? Is your breathing letting you down? And if so, start examining how are you breathing outside of physical exercise? Do you sleep with your mouth open? Are you waking up with a dry mouth in the morning? If you're sitting at rest, is your breathing fairly noticeable? Do you ever feel that you're not getting enough air while you're breathing during rest? If your breathing is an effort during rest, well, your breathing is going to be effortful during exercise. So tap into your breathing and look at your breathing and improve it from a biochemical dimension, from a biomechanical dimension. And also using breathing exercises to help to bring balance in the autonomic nervous system. It's important, of course, to stress the body, but it's even more important to recover. And recovery is not just to bring you back to baseline. Practicing breathing exercises to help recover is going to improve your resilience so that you're better positioned to cope with the stresses and strains, both in your sporting life, but also in your life outside of your sports. So don't forget about your breathing. It might be the one thing that's holding you back.